Hey guys, I've got a new video. This time it is going to be on a new uh, Vanguard deck. This is going to be the first deck we're going over for set 12. So yeah, that's pretty good. We have a lot of uh, stuff coming out for 12. Uh, this is Evil Eye Dragon Omnigruzio. This is probably the only new deck in 12, as a lot of the other stuff is more of updates to older decks such as uh, Bastion, Gravidia, Bafsagra, and the main one of course being Orphist. So uh, yeah this is the probably the other main focus deck of the set along with Bastion. So uh, yeah let's uh, go over Omnigruzio. So, of course, we'll start off with the ride line. Uh, Evil Eye Beast Omnia Kitty. It is the a specific grade 1 for... Or no, gra not grade 1, grade 0 for this deck. It's, of course, got the effect that all grade zeros have in Overdress. So, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, Evil Eye Beast Omnia Krog. Uh, this... Funnily enough, even though it's a grade one uh, ride deck card for overdress, it's actually got an act ability instead of one that activates when it's rode upon or when it's placed on Vanguard Circle. Act Vanguard once per turn, so blast one. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one grade three or greater card with Omnigruzio in its card name from among them. Reveal it and put it to your hand and shuffle your deck. If you did not reveal a card, you soul charge two. So either way, even if you don't get the search successful, you do get to Soul Charge 2, which helps a lot. As the deck does Soul Blast quite a bit. Onto the Grade 2, we've got Evil Eye Beast Omnia Owls. Uh, it has the effect when this unit is placed by riding from Omnia Krog. Search your deck for up to one trigger unit. Put it into Soul and then shuffle the deck. If you put a card into your soul, you also draw a card. Very nice. And of course, the grade three of the ride deck, Evil Eye Dragon Omnia Gruzio. Its first effect is when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with Omnia Gruzio in its card name, or one Mask of Hydragum. From among them, reveal it and put it into your hand and then shuffle the deck. So, as by that first effect, it's kind of obvious that this is a mask deck. And it is the first and only deck, actually, that is put together with the mask playstyle in mind. As all of the cards came out pretty much at once. So, yeah, this is basically perfectly tailored to work with all the mask cards. And then its other effect is uh, once per turn, Soul Blast 1, choose up to one trigger unit from your drop, bind it, and then until the end of your turn, your opponent cannot increase power with trigger effects of cards with the same trigger icon as any card in your bind zone. So, uh, yeah, for example, you bind a uh, heal trigger, for example. So when you attack and your opponent checks this, checks a heal in their uh, damage, they do get the heal effect, but they will not get the power. That's the uh, simplest way of explaining it. And that is it for Omnia Gruzio. Now, on to the actual deck. Of course, we got four copies of the Mask Unit. Evil Eye Dragon Emperor Omner Grisio Mask. It can only be uh, ridden... You, this, un, this card can only be ridden from a Grade 3 card with Omni Grisio and its card name. Of course, that's kind of obvious. Uh, and then it has the other effect of... Remove a card with Omnia Gruzio and its different card name from this unit from the hand, soul, or drop. Choose up to one trigger unit from your drop, bind it, and then this unit gets this effect. 
all of your opponent's cards with the same trigger icon as any card in your bind zone get minus 5k shield power and your opponent cannot increase power with those trigger effects. So again, much like the original Omni Gruzio, if your opponent checks a trigger in their damage check, they do not get the power. And also if they try to guard with the trigger, the power, uh, the shield value is decreased by 5,000. So yeah, a very dangerous card. And then on top of that, it's final effect. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, Counterblast 1, put two back row rear guards into your soul and then stand this unit and it gets drive minus one until the end of the turn. Whose insane idea was it to put a restanding effect on a card that reduces the power of triggers? Like, who comes up with that? Like, this, this deck, when it was revealed made everybody go nuts. This this thing was cool to watch in the show. So yeah. Of course, after the mask unit, we have three more copies of the original. In this deck, unlike most mask decks, you do play the full four and four of the mask unit and the original unit. Also, we're going to be playing four copies of Mask of Hydrogum. Because you want to see your mask pieces and all the other cards you do need to pull off um, writing the original and then rewriting the mask form every turn. So, uh, yeah. Four copies of the mask. I've gone over the mask effect so many times by this point, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, we have the main grade, uh, rear guard grade two of the deck, Misery Wing Dragon. Uh, during your turn, this unit gets 5,000 power for each different trigger unit in your bind zone. So, again, for example, you have a critical, it gets plus five. It, you have a front, it gets another plus five. You have a heal, it gets another plus five. You get a draw, that is another plus five. And... Hey, why not if you have an over-trigger in the bind zone? That's another five. So the maximum you can have with this effect is 25. That is incredible that this card can attack with that much power all on its own. And also, more than likely, you will also have it on a, uh, a Dragon Tree marker as well, giving it another five power. So essentially making this card... 40k? 30k on its own, depending? Maybe even more if you also Persona Road that turn. So yeah, it's, it can get pretty crazy. And then its other effect is, when this unit is placed on Regard Circle, if there are two or more types of trigger units in your bind zone, you Soul Blast 2 and then draw a card. Very nice. Just an overall great card. Of course, um, four copies of Skull Kemda. This is the... Uh, Mask of Hydrogum Searcher for Dark States. Again, I've gone over this guy enough times. I'm not going to go over him again. Uh, this is Ruin Collector. If, when it is placed on Rearguard Circle, you Soul Charge 1. And then its other effect is when this card would be put into Soul for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard with Omni Gruzi on its card name, it may be regarded as two cards. So that, of course, ties in to Omnigrugio Mask's effect. So that way you don't have to place two cards, you just have to use Ruin Collector. Uh, the final actual uh, grade one we'll be using is Steam Battler Gungan Ram. Of course, this is the original misprint Gungan Ram with the Persona Ride icon. And then this is when this unit is placed on rear guard circle, you soul charge one. And then for its other effect, you can soul blast three and draw a card. Very nice. Of course, we've got four copies of one of the Dark State's perfect guards. Again, you can replace one of them with Elementara Sanctitude. That's entirely up to you. 
Uh, four of the non-effect crits. Four of the effect fronts. Four of the non-effect heals. Three of the effect draws. And of course, to round out everything, the Dark States over trigger. Oh. We got a little bit of glare there. Okay. And that is it for Omnigruzio. I hope you enjoyed this video.